Okay, in this uh, series of videos, I'm going to show you how to create a game software with the Easy Software Maker program using the 200 game bonus pack that I gave you with the purchase that you made. I'm going to create a game pack of five games, then I'm going to create a HTML page that leads to the upsell to a, a second game pack. So the first place I, I want to start is I want to go to the actual game content, which is when you extracted the file, you you had these three folders. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go into the screenshots. And of course, I'll turn on the well, not large view, but uh, let's just say large icons. And just go through here, and I'm going to pick out five different games that I want to include into my um, game pack that I'm creating. And what I'll do is I'll just select five of these images. And then I'll go over here and I'll create a folder. Like you see, I've created a game pack one. And I'll create a games folder and an images folder. And inside this images folder, I'll drop those five images. And then I'll go back to the games content and find the matching games that go with them. And then I'll copy those into the games folder. Okay, so I've went through there and I've picked out five different games. I'll go in here and these are the five games that I've picked out. The Three Foot Ninja, uh, Blob Wars, Get Home, Go Gold Diggers, and Prince of Persia. And I've input those, like I said, I've copied those flash files, which are the .swf files, into the games folder. And I've also copied corresponding screenshots into the images folder. Now you'll notice that I have 10 images in here instead of just five, and there's a reason for that, and I'll show you that in just a minute because we're gonna be creating a couple of HTML pages to go along with this. So that's the first thing I did is I just went through the, the game content and I found five games that I wanted and put them into a games folder. Then I found the five corresponding images that I wanted and put them into an images folder. And then I put five extra images and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with those in just a minute. Okay, so in this part, we're going to create two HTML pages that we're going to be using inside the game itself. One of them will actually be uploading to our website, which will be an upsell to another game pack of five games. And then uh, one of them will just be a game thanks page, which is what you see here. So what I've done is I've just created an, a simple HTML page. It says, thank you for playing Game Pack Volume 1. Please check out our other games. And I've got the extra five images that I chose, which is actually five different images from five different games, which I'm gonna be calling game pack number two. And what I've done is I've made hyperlinks to each one of these to go to different game volume packs that I could be selling. Now, of course, this game pack doesn't exist, but just for demo purposes of this video, this is what I've done. I've selected five more games that I could create another game pack volume two with. Okay, so I'll be using this source code inside the Easy Software Maker. Now, the link that it goes to, which is, I don't know if you can see it or not, is called vol2.html. This is actually this page, and this is the exact same five images, except I've just created like a sort of a mini sales page that says, thank you for your continued interest in our games. In this brand new game pack, we've added five more great games for you and your kids will love. And of course, like I said, I've put the, the additional five images in there, the bigger shots of them, and then the names down under them. And then I put, you know, a checkout button and then a price. Like I said, this is just an upsell that, you know, as you create more of these game packs, you could sell them. And you could sell them for anything you want to. And you don't even have to sell them. You could be using these to build a list with if you wanted to. But we'll talk about that in just a minute. As I'm doing right now, it's, this page here will show up inside the game. And when they click that link, it'll open up a web page, this web page here over on my web server, and it will actually be another game pack that they could purchase. Okay, so now we're gonna actually create the software. Uh, I've started the Easy Software Maker program up, and depending on which version you bought, if you bought just the basic version, you may not have this reg code section 
or the brandable tags section depending on which one of the versions of the easy software maker you bought you may not have the part about doing a registration code or being able to create brandable tags but um, it all starts out exactly the same other than having that and I'm not going to use either one of these sections so whether or not you bought these the upsells or not you'll be able to do exactly what I'm saying doing here and plus like I said I'm gonna give you guys the source code for everything that I've done here so you could actually take what I've done here and publish it as your own I'm gonna go ahead and open up one that I the one that I've been working on I call I call it game pack one and as you can see it starts out you got to give it a software title you got to give it a window size I like on these games to make them 1000 pixels width by 600 pixels high you can experiment with different sizes if you want but that seems to work the best for me is to use that and then I've created like I said there's gonna be five games so I've created five game pages and then the uh, thank you page so let's look at one of the game pages first if you wanted to add a page you just click add a page and say you'd start it but since I've already got the pages created I'll just click edit but if you click add a page it would pull us up and you'd give it a title and you would paste in this code right here and of course I'll give you guys this code that you can paste in here as well and all you have to do is just edit it for your actual game that you're going to be inserting now the key thing to note is this right here where it says pub dir and it's in brackets that has to be in there as far as the it tells the software where the games or the files are located and this even has to be done for the images which I'll show you that when we go to loading the HTML copy in here for the upsell page but it's like I said I'll give you guys this source code as well this object paste code here for embedding uh, flash games so all you got to do is just, just create a games folder put your flash file inside that games folder and then you'll be able to just switch out the name for the games whichever one is you decide to use and like I said I've done that for all five of these they're all exactly the same the only thing I've done is just change the name of the actual flash file for each one of them okay so now let's look at the uh, the get more games I've, I've titled it get more games and if you look at it it's just the HTML code from over here in composer let me show you this this is the this is the actual page right here if you look at the source code it just gives you you know the source code and what we're going what we have to do is like I said we have to put that uh, pub dir in there which let me show you that again as you can see it right here it's this pub dir forward slash and then images and that's where the images are located and it's the and the different images name and like I said, I'll give you guys this source. You can just edit this and just switch it out for your actual file names. But that's the key thing to remember is it has to be pub dir in front of whatever file it is that you're linking. And then you have to build the software inside that same folder where these folders and files are. Okay, so if you remember... We went to Game Pack Volume 1. I created the Game Pack Volume 1 to do all this work in. I created a Games folder, and then I created an Images folder. Inside the Games folder is the actual games itself, the software games itself, which if we go back to here, and let's look at just the first one here. You notice it says Pub DIR, and it's inside brackets, forward slash games, forward slash three foot ninja. If we go to the folder here you'll see that it's it's actually in a games folder and that's the actual file name and then let's go back to the software and let's cancel out of that and let's go back to the HTML page and like I said in it it has the same thing the pub dir in brackets forward slash images forward slash and then the images and again that corresponds with the images folder that I created I have the images inside of here and this just tells the software where your images and your game files are located but the key thing is you got to have that back at pub dir in the brackets 
in front of wherever the file name is. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've got all our source done, we're ready to compile the game. The next thing you do is you would click in here and select the folder where you want to build it. And again, like I said, I've got it extracted into that 200 games folder where all of the games are extracted. And I've created a game pack one, game pack volume one folder. And I'm going to be creating it in there, so that's the one I selected. You would just click this, and you would just find the folder and select it and click OK. Oops. Messed up there. Go back and select that again. That way, at least you can see me do it now. Game Pack 1, that's where I'm going to be creating it. And you just give it a file name. Like I said, this is going to be my first Game Pack, so I'm just calling it Game Pack 1. And remember to put the .exe on the end of it. The software will build this, the the software without the .exe on it, but it won't be executable because Windows won't know what to do with it since it don't have a file extension. So be sure and put the .exe on the end of the file before you build it. And then just click Save Your Setup here so in case you want to go back later. Now, it's up to you if you want to have these Next and Previous and Home buttons on there. On these game ones, I don't like to have those on there, so I, just, I generally just turn those off and just select just the drop-down box. That's all I usually do for mine. Then I click the Build Software, and what it's going to do is it's going to build this Game Pack 1.exe inside this Game Pack Volume 1 folder. And, of course, it asks you before you compile it if you want to save the project, and you say yes. Then it tells you that it's already been built, so you can click on OK or Open Location. We're going to click on Open Location just so it'll open it up. And as you can see now, it's actually built the, the software inside this folder, inside this Game Pack Volume 1 folder. We still have the Games folder in there. We still have the Images folder in here. But now we have the two files that actually run the software. So if we run the software, double-click on it and open it, as you can see, it opens up the game, and we can use the drop-down menu to switch between the games. And as you can see, these are these are good quality games. Some of them, you know, are kind of vintage, I guess. You know, kids these days probably hadn't seen them before, but younger kids like to play these type of games. So these these should do well for you, you know, if you create these little game packs. And don't get greedy with them. Sell them for like, you know, five to seven dollars somewhere around in there, and you'll you'll sell a bunch of them. And like I said, they're they're easy to create. I've created this whole package in less than an hour. It's taken me longer to create these videos and edit these videos and get it ready for you guys to watch than it did to create this whole thing. But now let's look at the uh, the upsell page. Like I said, I called it Get More Games. So if we pull that up, as you can see, it pulls it. It says, thank you for playing Game Pack Volume 1. This is what we've seen inside Composer, the page that I created. And it gives some little thumbnail images of the Game Pack Volume 1. Now, of course, I could have, you know, if, if I wanted to, and since this was just a demo, I didn't, but I could have, you know, picked out some more images and just completely filled this out. So, you know, there would be several different ones. There'd be a set of five images for each one of these volumes. But now if we click the link here, as you can see, it pulls up. This is the web page. It was uploaded to my server. And it just gives, you know, it's like a mini pre-sale page, some sort of a little sales page that tells them about the game, the, the new game pack that's available. And then it's got a buy button on it they can click and they can actually make the purchase. But that's that's the general how the software goes, how it's how it's made. It's not that hard to do really, and like I said, that you've got the source code for every bit of this, so all you really have to do is just load up his source code and just edit it with those the different games that you have in there and just create those uh, different game packs like that. And you can sell a bunch of these folks. And if you did buy the the upsell version that you know allows you to do let's go back to the software it allows you to do the registration code you could actually use that as a list builder you could just make up some code in here say one two three just make up some number like that 
and just give a link to your squeeze page and in your first autoresponder message give them this registration code so they can unlock the software you could build a list like it and market other games or even your other game packs you could actually give the first one away for free give your first game pack away for free and then sell the rest of them and of course like I said that's depending on if you bought the pro version or the pro plus version that allows you to to do this right here if you just bought just the basic version you won't have this section here about doing the registration code which still is just fine, is fine. you can still um, you know sell create the games the game packs and sell them and one more thing before we close out this video and that's down here in the about box details you notice that I left it blank and because I left it blank let's go back into the software again and because I left it blank it just creates this default uh, about box now I could have went into the software and put in a company name and give it a URL to my main website and you know it would give you know some branding or you could link to another product if you wanted to you could do affiliate sales through that if you wanted to you could put in the name of an affiliate a game product in there that you have an affiliate link for say over on Amazon or somewhere like that and just link to it uh, you could put in something like uh, I'm not sure what the current games are out on the in the video world but now let's say uh, play Gods of War 3. I know Gods of War 3 is a popular game. It may actually be another Gods of War 4 for all I know. But then you can just put your affiliate link in here. And then when you compile the game in an about box, it would have play Gods of War 3 in here and it'd be hyperlinked to your affiliate link. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show you guys. It's really simple to do. You've got 200 games in that pack. If you did five at a time, you know, that's 40 different packs you could create. And, you know, I guarantee if you create these things and put them out there, give away your first one for free and just link, like I said, in that one page to your other game packs, You'll start selling these things. So, like I said, parents buy these things for their kids just to keep them occupied. And now that everybody has a tablet PC, so you know these things are going to be really popular for kids to carry around and play.